All right, we were talking about vegans earlier, and we were talking about something's going on with Netflix. <laughs> What? What's going on with Netflix? They want money. It's, they, a, it's, it's just all about the money. And just it does feel like to me, because I do watch a stupid amount of like shows about food and stuff like that on Netflix, but at the end of the day, they all seem to be pushing you towards veganism. You know what? I'm just not educated enough on veganism to know if it's really healthy or not. Either way, how would you feel if somebody was so hardcore about being a vegan that they didn't even want you in their wedding? They don't even want you at the wedding. When I'm saying kicking people out of the wedding... Her own mother. <gasps> what? Yes. I saw this headline and I was like, this can't be for real. Sure enough, there's a bride and she is vegan and she wants everyone to eat vegan at her wedding. I have no qualms with that whatsoever. It is your wedding. If you want to serve a vegan dinner, by all means. But this is going one step further. Not only is she serving vegan, but if you are to attend her wedding, you have to become vegan as well. Uh-uh. You have to give up your omnivore life. So, and that's what she said. She goes, anyone who refused to go vegan was promptly uninvited, including her mother and two cousins who were bridesmaids. <laughs> so if you refuse to go vegan- For the day or for your life? For your life. Your life. Oh, you wait, your commit. life? Yes. This might have stayed a private matter, but the bride posted something in a Facebook group called Vegan Revolution, asking for advice about her omnivore family guilt-tripping her into hosting murderers. <laughs> As for the reasoning, the bride, who is 20, says even though her loved ones were originally invited and agreed to a vegan menu, she couldn't go forward knowing they would go back to eating meat the next day. She also claims many in her family are anti-vegan and will attack her vegan friends. At least one of those family members responded saying they had been nothing but supportive and are hurt by the bride's decision. So no, she wants them to Mm. completely convert to veganism, but if you can't commit, you are uninvited from the wedding. Well, now my question is, who's actually going to be at the wedding? Because I don't know that many vegans. I mean, to me, the majority of the population is is uh, eats an omnivoric diet. So are there going to be like seven people at this one wedding? I mean, if that's what she would rather have, then that's on her. But I think it's a little radical. I'd bail. Like, I'd bail. I, but I would mean, you remain friends? Like if you, like, so this this is, we're talking about like the her her cousins, her bridesmaids, who they don't want to be vegans, so she's kicking them out of the wedding because they can't they can't change their lifestyle. Do you remain friends with somebody like that? Well, I wouldn't end the friendship, but she would have to know that you're friends with a murderous person then because I'm not <laughs> changing the way that I think because this is what you want. So You wouldn't the- sit outside the venue with a bucket of KFC? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I've got a better idea. I'm going to hire five of the meatiest food trucks I can find <laughs> and I'm parking them right across the street Thomas. and I'm going to have them get there three hours before the wedding so that, that meat smoke just drifts right into the church. <laughs> I, I, I would bail and I, I would remain friends with it. This wouldn't bother me at all, honestly. No, no not at all. Because, well, maybe... You're you're accusing, like, you're calling me a murderer. But I guess... Murderer! <laughs> I guess because I don't see wedding going to a wedding as, like, some kind of prize. Like, yeah. normally I'm trying to find a way to get out the wedding anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, it would be like, okay. Well, <laughs> it's not about the actual wedding. I feel like it's what it stands for. Because when you have a wedding, you invite all the people that you care about the most, that are closest to you, the people that you want there on, on what I'm assuming you feel like is one of the biggest days of your life. So it's a big screw you whenever you get disinvited from a wedding. For, and so in terms of like deciding to stay friends with this person, A, doesn't sound like she's given these people much of a choice. Doesn't sound like she wants to be friends with them. And B, I could never stay friends with someone like this. Yeah. yeah. So this is to me is like, this is a prime example of not being able to coexist. I I feel like people need to be more open-minded about supporting each other's choices as long as mm-hmm. it's not hurting somebody else, right. right? So when it comes to something like this, like if this was my vegan friend, Whenever we go out to be respectful to her, I won't order meat or I won't eat meat in front of her because that it, it, this is obviously something she's extremely passionate about. Now, I'm, I'm totally okay doing that. But for you to kick me, like, and I will go to your wedding and I will eat a, a vegan entree at your wedding. But to, to kick me out, kick me off your guest list mm-hmm. because I choose to, res- to remain an omnivore, you're not respecting my decisions and my choice. My, you're not respecting my life choices. I have supported you and your life choices, and now you refuse to do the same for me. Nah, man. 
Not dog. We can't be friends. Okay, so I I was going to go in a different direction, but I even have a problem with what you were just saying. If some if you're going to dinner with somebody that's yes. a vegan, right? Yes. I a passionate ha- vegan. I don't care. So you're a passionate vegan. I have to change my eating no. habit because I'm a non or I'm a passionate non-vegan. So why do I have to change my eating habit for the night to satisfy you? I didn't say you had to. You don't have to if you don't you want said to. You would. I I 100 percent would Hell because no. if this is a friend and this is something that is very like distressing to her and she is very passionate about. I I feel like this is a way like you should support your friends. So if we're gonna go out to dinner, and Am I going to get a big old juicy burger and eat it in front of her? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'll get some sweet potato fries. She better close her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. You are trash, friends. Don't mess with the sun is to the day. Mandatory. Whether you see it or not. The Burt Show. Real funny. Q99. The Burt Show.